Um, hi there. So we've got a question. A Phobos, a moon of Mars, has an orbital period of 7.7 .7 hours and an orbital radius of 9.4 times 10 to the 3 kilometers. So one of the first questions that could be asked is why does Phobos move with uniform circular motion? And the reason being is if this is Mars here, this is the planet, and Phobos is moving in a, I mean this is not not perfect, but say this is a circular, you know, circular motion, Phobos, as long as the, the centre of the planet here and the centre of the planet, oh, sorry, the centre of the moon there and the centre of the planet there is fixed, that this distance isn't changing, and we call this the radius, the orbital radius, as long as that's the same uh, throughout the path, um, then we can claim that there is what we call constant or uniform um, circular speed of that uh, of that moon. So one of the, I suppose, the two formulas that you need to sort of think about in the, or know in this particular context is that the centripetal force is mv squared over r, and also that the velocity, I mean, we all know, that, know this from earlier work, is that is velocity is always, or the speed, is always the distance divided by the time. And in this particular case, the distance is 2 pi r, because this is the circumference of this, round circle and then of course that is the time is the period of motion so that's an important important uh, awareness even though this is taught for a lot is the you know it's the, the centripetal force on phobos is to do with its mass is to do with its velocity squared divided by the radius um, the distance apart and it's this equation here not this one that's going to lead us to show why there is an orbital speed of Phobos. And they're saying that it's two kilometers per second. So all we have to do really is just substitute this in. Uh, two pi times 9.4 times 10 to the three, and we'll leave it in kilometers because we know, we know that, that they want the speed in two kilometers per second. Normally I would convert that to meters normally, but I'll just leave that in kilometers and then of course the 7.7. Uh, .7. Now this time here, because it is kilometers per second, we now have to convert the hours to seconds. So we've got to times it by 60 because there are 60 minutes in the hour and another 60 because there are 60 seconds in the minute. So it's 60 times 60. And of course out pops the answer at around about 2.13 kilometers per second. And we'll just say that as two, round that up as two kilometers per second.